Hi students, today I came with one more interesting topic that is Latin square design. So what is Latin square design? In previous video we have discussed about CRD, completely randomized design. Okay, now we are going to discuss about what Latin square design and one more is there that is randomized block design. So these are the three designs in experimental design topic. Okay. Now let's see what is Latin square design. So in short form it is called as LSD. So what is LSD? In the name itself there is square. Okay that means what equal number of observation should be. Okay. A Latin square design is a type of experimental design used to control for two sources of variability. It controls only two sources of variability. For example if you want to mm, see the crop yield. So crop yield if you want to see it. So here different factors depends. Maybe irrigation facilities, uh, fertilizers, okay. Next water facilities, sunlight, okay. Uh, soil, all these factors depends on crop yield. But in this case only two two sources of variability we are going to calculate either it may be uh, irrigation or as fertilizers or uh, water and irrigation both are same only so next is maybe soil sunlight okay so like that if we concentrate only on two sources so at that time latin square design is used so it arranges treatments in such a way that each treatment appears exactly once in each row and each column of a square matrix. That means what? Here, treatment will appear only once if you observe row and column. Okay? We will see in this example how this point works. Okay? Yeah, now let's see what is the structure of a Latin square. Rows represents one blocking factor. Okay, rows represents one blocking factor. Columns rep represent another blocking factor. So as we discussed here, only two sources now. So the, that's why rows and columns. Okay, two factors. Next, treatments are assigned to cells in such a way that each treatment appears exactly once in each row and each column as we discussed here this point okay yeah suppose see here if you observe this example you can able to understand the above matter suppose we are testing four different fertilizers that means the researcher wants to test which fertilizers is the best fertilizers to buy or else something to promote okay like that so he he wants to test so the fertilizers names are a b c d on crop yield we want to control the variability due to soil type okay here they are going to test what on soil and fertilizer okay two variables they are taking one is soil and the other is fertilizer okay so soil is row wise data okay soil means row wise data and irrigation method is column wise data okay so if you observe see here in this column a variable is only once and if you see here in this column a is only once and in this row a is only once so that is the meaning of this one exactly once in each row and each column meaning is that one okay and if you see here B, in this row B appears only once and in this column B appears only once. So like that if you check everything it appears only once. Okay. Yeah. And next we will see what are the advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So here advantages of LSD, Latin square design controls two sources of variation as we discussed here okay so it uh, it controls what only two sources so that is the advantage only two it controls two sources of variation 
next what efficiency so what do you mean by efficiency here uh, uh, normally for example if you take here a okay and different fertilizers we are having uh, for example this is soil type 1 and different uh, four fertilizers we are having so a b c d and again soil 2 again a b c d so if we go on writing all together we will get 64 blocks we will get but instead of that here it simplifies into 16 blocks itself okay it simplifies into 16 blocks that is the meaning of efficiency okay that is the meaning of what efficiency next balanced design balanced design is as we discussed here only exactly once the row and column is having a certain treatment isn't it so that is called as balanced design okay next suitable for limited resources yes it is suitable for only limited resources why because here only two if we have three, if you want to test three so uh, three sources of variability at that time this design is not suitable okay yeah so the, those are about advantages now we will discuss about disadvantages so disadvantages first one complexity so what do you mean by complexity in the sense see in order to allot this design there should be experience careful planning for execution isn't it otherwise the blocks may be repeated okay so that's why in order to design this one there should be some experience okay in order to get good results so that is called as complexity next assumptions assumptions in the sense see here we are having how many types of soils we are having four types of soils and four irrigation facilities we are having okay so these four soils will not work same that means for some soil the water content may may be needed less for some soil uh, the water may be required more so that means what the same requirement will not be for uh, all the variables so that is called as assumptions okay next limited flexibility as we told that here uh, suitable for limited sources now so this point we consider it as an advantage at the same time we consider it as a disadvantage okay equal number of levels equal number of levels in the sense what here everything soil receives four fertilizer four fertilizers a b c d soil one and irrigation one also having how many <coughs> types of soils a b c d okay so like that it will be balanced okay so that is called as equal number of levels okay hope you all understand so if you like this video please like it share subscribe if if you are newly watching and which topic you want please comment so that i'll try to make the video okay thank you have a nice day